guys, long time no see. Um, today I'm just going to be doing the look that you saw earlier by using the Alice in Wonderland by Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. I'm absolutely in love with this palette. The packaging is just so beautiful. Uh, to start off with, we're going to be grabbing, I believe it was Dormouse, and we're going to just be putting that in our outer corner. And then just to deepen the look, we're going to be grabbing Chessboard, which is this gorgeous brown shade. And we're just going to be adding that over the top of Dormouse. And then just to add in some color, because you all know how I love my color, we're going to be grabbing this purple shade, which is gone mad. And we're going to be applying that in the same outer V that we've been putting all the other colors. Now just keep applying as much as you want and then blending it out until it gets the perfect color and opaqueness that you like. And then just grabbing this gorgeous, gorgeous dark blue shade called Time. And again, we're just going to be adding that in the outer V just to really deepen this look. And then I'm just going to be grabbing these two shades, which are the lightest shades in the palette. And what you see me doing here is I'm grabbing the pink shade and I'm placing it everywhere where I haven't placed any color yet. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be grabbing this other shade, which is a really nice shimmery cream color. And I'm just going to be putting it over the top just to add a little bit of shimmer. Once we're done with that, just going in with the winged liner. I feel like this really just helps complete the look. Without the liner, it kind of just looks kind of bare. I didn't really like how it looked without it, so I decided to go in with it. Then just going in with mascara, I got the Star Wars by CoverGirl Mascara. I did add false lashes later on, but you won't have to do that if you don't want to. And then just going in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This stuff is so good if you want to keep your makeup in place all day. Um, I just apply it like you would with moisturizer, just applying tiny dots around your face and then just rubbing it in with your fingers. Then I'm going in with my foundation. I'm just using the NARS Luminous Glow. I put it on the back of my hand and then applied it to my face as you can see. And I'm just using the Urban Decay Foundation Brush to apply it. Then I'm just going in with the NARS concealer. Sorry that it was upside down, guys. Um, and then it's pretty much completely empty, so I had to really scrape at it to get it out. But I'm just applying it underneath my eyes. And then with using a beauty blender, I'm just going to blend it completely until I'm happy with the end product. Then I'm just going to be grabbing my handy dandy Too Faced powder. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much completely empty because I love it to death. Um, and I'm just going to be using this to set my foundation. I really love the end product for this because it's not too matte, but it is still matte. Then for my eyebrows, I'm just going to be grabbing this eyebrow pencil. Just drawing the general shape that I want, and when I'm happy with it, just going to be brushing it out with the brush that's on the end of the pencil. Then just for contouring, I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Contour. 
and just grabbing the cooler shade of brown I'm going to be carving out my cheekbones as well as underneath my chin Then just grabbing the light cocoa, I'm going to be going on all of the higher spots as well as underneath my contouring just to clean it up a little bit. Then just grabbing the warmer shade of brown, I'm just going to be going around my forehead just to appear more bronzed. Then I'm just going to be going in with this blush from Too Faced as well as the Mr. Right brush from Too Faced also and I'm just going to be applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm just going to be going in with my highlight. I'm going to be grabbing the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in the shade Ice Cold and I'm just going to be applying that to all the places on my face that I really want to stand out. Then just to finish this look, I'm going to be grabbing Jeffree Star's I'm Royalty, which is his liquid to matte velvet lipstick, and I am obsessed with his lipsticks. They are so comfortable to wear, and they last for so long. Um, I'm just going to be filling in my lips, like pretty much outlining them with this colour and then filling it in until I'm happy with the colour. Well, that's about it for this one today, guys. If you liked it, please be sure to let me know. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.